Hello everyone, Dr. Ames here. What I'd like to talk about to you this time is some of the material in Chapter 4, uh, in particular uh, diversity. Now certainly the point that needs to be made here is that diversity is so much more than just ethnicity and that's what most of us tend to think of when we say the word diversity. Uh, we're really talking about so many different variables. We're talking about things like age, like gender, like sexual identification, like religion, like health, and we're also talking about your physical sense and are you a beautiful person or not, uh, and whether or not you're a member of a certain profession um, or of a certain nation or region of the world. Uh, so certainly diversity has many, many facets and we need to broaden our thinking uh, when we start talking about this topic. Now certainly we all want to be uh, become culturally competent and that means that we're able to deal with the different situations that come up due to diversity in the workplace and this particularly happens a lot uh, as HR professionals. Uh, what we call this in the cross-cultural management class is becoming culturally savvy and there's a certain way that we can go about becoming better at this and uh, becoming better uh, really in understanding what diversity is all about, embracing it, and, and learning to work with it, making it work for us. And so in that sense, the first step really is that we become self-aware. We have to understand ourselves before we can really look at another culture. And understanding ourselves means we look at ourselves with a critical eye, we look at our antecedents, we look at our lineage, where we've come from, the type of life we've lived, the education level we have, the background that we've been immersed in, the context of our lives. Uh, and we also have to look at the way we were raised, and so we look at the ideas and, and values and so forth that our parents indoctrinated into us, whatever those might have been. And once we do this, we start to get some understanding of how things work. So if we can start by understanding ourselves, then we can move to the next step and really try and understand another culture. And, and to do this, we really immerse ourselves the same way. We, we start to look and see what are the things that are the hallmarks of this different uh, culture that I want to understand. And the best approach certainly is not to focus on what is different, but certainly to focus on where you have common ground and what is similar. And there is a, a number of items that we could look at that we could say that humanity does share in common. Things like having a funeral, uh, getting married, coming of age, all of these sorts of things are human things that we do share even though we may all have different contextual backgrounds that shape us into the individuals that we are. Now, also, there are some terms, of course, that are important in this chapter, and you should know them uh, and what they imply as well. And so things like the glass ceiling, glass walls, sticky floors, uh, and the glass elevator or the glass escalator. You should know what those things mean, and so make sure you review the material. Uh, in the one sense, uh, the PowerPoint, again, will be very helpful to you. Uh, it hits this material with a lot of detail for you. Uh, there are some other important topics in this chapter, and you don't want to overlook these because uh, they do matter in today's workplace. And I'm talking about sexual harassment and the issues of employer liability. And what you can do to be the sort of employer that can handle these situations to um, help create an atmosphere where they don't happen. But when things do happen, you have to make sure that you're following the rules and that you handle these things in the right way. Uh, not only according to the law, but according to your own ethical stance. Um, this chapter is primarily about um, how we do our HR and understand diversity in the nonprofit and voluntary sector as well as the public. So keep that in mind as you look at things and this, go through this material that um, diversity is going to be a little bit different depending on if you're working in the public sector or if you're working in the private or nonprofit. In the sense the public might be quite different because you're uh, you also have to follow all those rules that are put down by um, executive orders from presidents and so forth, and that there are certain civil service rules that you do have to abide. Well, that's all I want to cover for this time. Thank you very much. Best, and see you later.